Hey guys, Patriot Picker here, and my name is Chris, and we are standing outside in the lovely weather today, right outside my house. And if you are a subscriber to my channel, you are probably wondering, where has he been? I haven't made a video in like almost probably a month and a half, maybe even two months, I'm not sure. But uh, I wanted to get on here real quick. We're going to look at some uh, other things here shortly. But I wanted to get on here real quick and just explain a little bit of where I've been and what I've been doing just to, you know, explain my absence from um, social media. Um, first reason, there's really two main reasons. And the first reason is just simply that sometimes you need a break uh, from doing this, um, which I needed. Um, as you know, I do not monetize my YouTube channel and I have no desire to do so. So when I post videos, it's just for information and for uh, those of you out there who like to watch those kinds of videos and the content that I provide for you uh, in the area of reselling on eBay. And uh, I just needed a break. My wife and I took a 10-day vacation to Montana. Uh, I might include some footage of that for you uh, at the end of this video. But uh, basically, we just needed a break and we took some time off of YouTube as well uh, just trying to put the focus and put more energy. My wife is uh, on summer break right now. As many of you probably know, she's a, a teacher in our local area. And so, um, you know, when summer's here, uh, we just like to take advantage of that break that she gets. And so that's another reason, basically, that we kind of took some time off. Um, but we're back. And uh, once again, we're just wanting to get back into the swing of things. And I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, when you make YouTube videos, um, it takes a lot of time out of your day, uh, especially if you're putting out a video a day or putting out three or four a week, whatever it is. Uh, that editing process behind the scenes that many of you probably don't know about takes some time uh, and some effort. And it's nice to be able to just kind of break away from that for a while and focus totally on eBay plus our store uh, is in the process of being inventoried. And so uh, that's another thing that we're doing this summer is kind of going through our entire store and deleting some things and then adding some things, of course, uh, relisting some things that need to be relisted. And on top of that, just trying to get better organized. So without further ado, just wanted to tell you up front what was going on and where I've been. And now that we're back, let's jump over into the real part of these videos and see what we've got. All right, guys, we're back inside the house now and um, do things a little different. Um, instead of showing you what's sold, uh, I'm gonna show you some items that we recently picked up while we were outsourcing. So to start off with, as you can see in the camera right now, we've got two pairs of shoes. Uh, this is a men's pair. Of, I believe these are Florsheim, and I can never remember if that's the way you pronounce uh, the name, but Florsheim, and they're just basically men's dockers, I guess you could call them like Sperry's or whatever. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to keep these or sell them because I kind of like them myself. But uh, we also have a pair of women's sh Nike shocks. Uh, we're going to have to clean these up just a little bit, but I think we're going to get a good flip on these. I uh, don't know what size they are, but they're kind of, I think they're sixes. And then we have a, um, I guess this is a Panasonic. Yep, Panasonic. This is a handheld recorder, video recorder. Uh, Pick this up at Goodwill. And I believe the price tag's still on there, $4.99. And the charger there is with it. Moving over to here. Aha, you can see we have a sleep number five from Serta, the little lambs. They sell pretty good. It still has the little tag on it. And you can see what I paid there. I think it's $1.99. So I like to turn these over. You don't make a whole lot from these things, but they're kind of cool um, to have around. All right, moving right over here, we have some reptile filters. These are for folks that have aquariums uh, that keep reptiles. There's three in a pack. Not real sure 
Uh, don't know a whole lot about these, but I did look them up and comp them, and they were going for pretty good, and I paid 99 cents for each one, and I've got three packs. We have a... Um, well, those are the rolls. We've got the actual vacuum sealer here from Denny. Um, when I looked this up and comped it, they weren't going for a whole lot. There wasn't a whole lot of them, but because they have the refill rolls, I went ahead and picked up both of these. Uh, $3.99 for the sealer and $5.99 for the rolls, which was really weird. I think the sealer would be more than the, the rolls, but... Anyway, I did go ahead and pick that up. And then here's a fun little item here. This is a, it's the Capitol Hillbillies. And yes, that's Bill and Hillary. And it says, come and listen to a story about a man named Bill. Couldn't do a thing without consulting Hill. And I thought that was kind of neat. Little crazy little mugs, basically what it is for uh, $1.99. Other items we have, this is a garlic press by company called Kalina. Uh, you put the garlic down in there and then you, uh, I think you just push that down and press it out. Pick that up. We have a Ray-Ban um, sunglass holder for your sunglasses. And these are usually 99 too. Usually flip these for 15, 16 bucks. Um, here are two Lynchburg Hillcats, that's our local minor league team here. Uh, two flags, say Lynchburg Hillcats on there. I like to resell anything that's local. We've got a couple of scrub tops here. We've got one that's uh, Snoopy, and then we have one that's uh, Winnie the Pooh. We have a, I'm not sure what the team is on this. I am not a big sports fan, a big professional sports fan. I keep up with college more than anything. But uh, because it was NBA and I, I recognize the, the name there, I'm not sure if that's the Wizards or what, what that is, but basically this is a 950, not a 5950, but a 950 cap. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but that'll flip good. Moving back over here, we have a uh, box here of, uh, let's just break this open here and show you what this is. Aha, uh -huh. I to turn it around. So this is a Craftsman Dado set for power hand saws. I'm not real sure how to pronounce Dado, Dado. But basically it's a, um, goes on your saw where you can cut smaller uh, it's a little smaller blade than the normal blade is. Um, it's kind of vintage, obviously, Craftsman. I have to look up the date on that. But that was, um, I think, what did I pay for that? $3.99. Then we have this uh, big pierogi maker, Hunky Bills. Not real sure what that's used for. <laughs> My wife kills me sometimes. I come home with this stuff, and she's like, what is it? And I'm like, I have no idea, but when I comped it, it, it was going pretty good. So this is a, a handheld safety plus portable gas leak detector. Um, those are comping pretty good. I usually do pretty well with these two uh, copies. These are giant print Bibles, but they're not the complete Bible because of giant print. They couldn't get the whole thing in one volume, so they break them down into two volumes. I've got those. I've got a Betty Crocker Waffle Baker. Um, that's probably dating back into the early 2000s. Um, this I picked up. This little item right here I picked up. <clears throat> I looked through all of the shelves in this one Goodwill, then moved over to the clothing area and um, just decided after I was done with the clothing area that I'd go back through the shelves one more time because I didn't see this the first time. But this is a Goebel West Germany 1967 uh, figurine. There's two little kids sitting on a park bench um, holding up newspaper over their head to keep from getting wet. I think that's pretty cool. I paid $5.99. I've got to comp it again. I comped it the first time. 
and could not find it, but anything you see out there, guys, made by Goble, you pick it up, uh, it, they're, they're, it's going to bring some good profit. And when, uh, when I finally sell it, you'll see what I mean. So anyway, that's kind of cool. Picked up the waste paste paper basket that's called the Hoopster by Spalding. I might keep this myself. Um, I have a normal size garbage can down in the eBay bunker, but I just think that this is kind of cool. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll check it out and see. I paid $2.99 for that. Over here, we have another flag, and I believe this is a Russian flag. Yeah. This is a full Russian flag. Now, you know, I'm not obviously one who, as a as a, uh, a Christian, you know, conservative, uh, who, you know, has a, a, a strong moral and ethical view of what our nation should be like. Um, I don't obviously support, uh, when I buy things, I don't buy them because I support them. I buy them sometimes because I know they'll sell. And there's somebody out there that's from Russia that's probably here in the United States now that would love to have that. And, uh, yeah, so I picked that up. You guys can crucify me later. All right, um... Picked up some little figurines. Now, I'm not real big on this kind of stuff, but I just wanted to get up close and show you what I got here. These are little hand-blown glass uh, figurines. This is a Kanawa from West Virginia, a little bird. Here's a little mouse. Kind of hard to film, as a lot of people say, with holding the camera with one hand and Holding the other with the other hand. It's crazy. Here's a little droopy looking dog. Here's an elephant with that blue tint inside of it with the tag still on it. Let's see what this says here. Lucky elephant hand blown glass by Gans. So this kind of stuff I'm not real familiar with and, and, and how well it does. These are brass items. This is a a goose that goes up and down. I'm assuming that that's a, a goose for, um, you know, like holding something with his beak. And then this is a maple leaf, brass maple leaf. So that's some things I've picked up that I don't really know a whole lot about that I wanted to kind of learn more about. There's some other things here. I'm not going to get into all of everything here because I have some other things I want to show you. So... Hold that thought. All right, guys, we're now down in the eBay bunker. It's my beautiful view outside where my work table is and shipping table. Uh, there's a few more items that we've picked up recently that were in a different bag that I wanted to show you. These are kind of all upside down. But basically what we got here in these little cases are the Cricut... Uh, Vinyl cutouts, uh, machine type stuff with these little patterns that come with them. And they come in these little uh, cool little storage boxes. Um, but these are flipping pretty well right now. Uh, so I went ahead and picked up, there's five of these. Yep. We've got this uh, Peanuts mug. And it's July, so it's Christmas in July. So I'm sure a lot of you are selling items for Christmas. That'll be a good seller for us. This is a vintage Stratego game. I believe this one dates back to... Always should figure that out before I get on here and talk to you guys. I believe that says 1986. So that'll be a good seller. And... I think... Oh! Lots more scrub tops. <laughs> We, we sell these things like candy, so anytime we find them, we get them. So we've got Tweety Bird, Frosty the Snowman, Snoopy, Lion King, Winnie the Pooh, um, Dumbo, Wonder Woman, Tweety Bird. You know, we pick up all these scrub tops, and they're all, as you can see, they're Disney themes or cartoon themes or something with some kind of a theme on them. Hey guys, Patriot Picker here. 
<laughs> and we are in Pole Bridge, Montana. And all I can tell you is, is it took us forever to drive up here today. <laughs> it seemed like we were never going to get here. <laughs> this place is the coolest place, though, that we've seen so far. It's got a mercantile that's famous for bear claws. And what kind of claws? Uh, huckleberry. Huckleberry, huckleberry bear claws. Uh, the little place is just... Uh, out in the middle of nowhere as you can see that's glacier uh <laughs> national park uh behind us uh some of the mountain peaks there behind us um one of the things that i was going to uh, tell you is that the mercantile here is famous uh for hikers that are going through this area and so they stop off here and they can Get something to drink and get something to eat. There's a little um, saloon, I think. Of it they have too. an actual little <laughs> saloon. Um, it's a very popular place along the what was the river North North Fork, North Fork, Fork river. river, which is famous uh, for fishing. Uh, we saw on the way up here, but right now the runoff is really really bad from the snow peaks, and so the water's real high. But we do hope to get some kayaking in before we come home, <laughs> and hopefully the next video will be with us. Uh, on a lake somewhere here in Montana <laughs> kayaking. So we just want to make a short video and tell you guys about it. So that's about it. We're going to wrap this video up. I just wanted to show you a few things that we picked up lately. I hope everybody's doing well. Look forward to being back on YouTube again and making some more video content for you. Um, who knows? We may even dabble a little bit into a different genre uh, here pretty soon. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, Hope everybody's doing well and uh, look forward to watching more of your video content as well. And thank you to all the subscribers and those of you who watch and, and like the show. So this is Patriot Picker. I'm signing out and we'll catch you guys again when? That's right. On the flip side.